The Ag Minute on This Week in Louisiana Agriculture is brought to you by your Louisiana propane dealers. Fuel for our future. According to the Louisiana Ag Summary, the commercial nursery industry grossed more than $166 million last year. While that may be a drop in the bucket compared to other commodities, one plant producer in Tinsall Parish is mixing art with agriculture to build a blooming business. Vibrant violet, glorious gold, and blushing crimson provide the perfect palette for a fall garden. At Roots Farm and Garden in St. Joe, Kendall Hardwick turns landscapes into works of art. What I'm really trying to do is like a person at a at an art gallery. They curate art. Well, I just wanted to curate plants and have the best of the best for everybody. From Juliet roses and limelight hydrangeas to Cinderella pumpkins and heirloom seeds, she stocks her shop with uncommon varieties you won't find anywhere else. We have the perfect climate to grow anything. So really, there's so many rare and unusual beautiful plants that you just don't see a lot. A lot of them, are, they call them heirlooms, but that's just because Home Depot doesn't offer them and you can't get them at Walmart, but they're really actually meant for this area. But growing flowers is just one part of her business. With four acres of fresh cut flower fields, fruit orchards, and a vegetable patch, she's also growing a new experience for the community. In a rural area, it's really kind of hard to get a good shopping experience and I want this to be a destination experience. I want you to come here, pick peaches from the orchard, buy really cool varieties. And I also wanted a kind of a habitat for pollinators, just to kind of remind them, your yard doesn't have to be perfect. It can be wild and you really need to just plant a bunch of different stuff because look at all the hummingbirds. Just the more variety, the better. I wanted to give them that happiness back of just, you know, getting away for a second. It'll kind of like a little oasis. It's just different. Growing this oasis has been a challenge, especially when it comes to finding labor. Owning a nursery is 60% planning and 40% implementing it. Planning your next season is just more important than actually physical labor, which is hard to do when you have nothing but physical labor that you need to do. Between watering flowers, helping customers, paying bills, pricing plants, picking peas, and transplanting new seedlings, Kendall never stops moving. There's nothing like sweating, doing it yourself, and looking at it and watching it grow. By sharing her passion, Kendall hopes she can inspire others to get growing in their own garden. Gardening is such a way just to give you that little bit of satisfaction. It's hard to get satisfaction in day-to-day -day life. Life's hard, we work hard. But that gardening, watching something grow, it doesn't matter if it's vegetables or flowers or a tree or a boring bush, it gives you something back that you can, you can never explain. Kendall obtained her professional nursery and landscape certification in July, and she plans to offer landscape design services as well. If you're interested in learning more about Roots Farm and Garden, just visit our website at twilighttv.org.